Well, that's a good question. Um, yes, it should be, but I have a kind of a Yogi Bear um, kind of saying, which is that the easier things get, the harder they are. Uh, and I'll, I'll go into that in more detail, but there's a lot of things that are happening right now on the buyer side that are, it, as soon as we make an advance in, in uh, tools, uh, because of what's happening on the buyer side, uh, it almost evens out. So let me explain a little in a little more detail. And I'm gonna start out by going back in time briefly here. Um, my first job in sales was in Silicon Valley and I was selling for Grid Systems, the world's first laptop computer. And that's a picture of it right there. Now this is encased in magnesium and you can see the screen size. Yeah. Uh, it was a big clunker. I mean, it was heavy, but this was a time when not everyone even had a desktop PC on their on their uh, desks. So what we had as tools were basically CRM and that came out shortly after the laptop. And then this whole concept of a digital slideshow was brand new. Uh, imagine not having to bring a carousel of real slides along with you and hoping you didn't spill them or need to rearrange or anything like that. So that's what we were dealing with now. Now, I mean, then, now you think about all the tools that we have available to us and you think, gosh, it should be a whole lot easier, right? Well, here's what we're up against uh, on the buyer side and the seller side too, for that matter. So three minutes is the amount of time spent working before an employee switches tasks. Can you, can you imagine? I'm sure everyone on the line can probably relate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 56 times, that's the number of times an average employee is interrupted in their work every day. It's a wonder you anyone can get, get it, anything done, right? Yep. <laughs> you either get an uh, email or a chat or something pops up. Exactly, right. We're constantly being interrupted. And by the way, guess what a cold email or a cold call is? It's an interruption. And, and that's what you're up against. And uh, some more stats here, two hours, that's the time per day an average employee spends recovering from the interruption. So it's, it's not just that they're being interrupted, but you lose time cognitively when each time that you're interrupted because you have to try to refocus back on what you were doing. So if, you, if your buyer on the other end of a cold call sounds annoyed, that's probably one of the reasons. Uh, 31 hours, that's the time per month that an employee spends in unproductive meetings. So when we're not trying to get our work done and being interrupted, we're spending time in meetings. This is what your buyer is going through. So this is what you face. Now, and on top of that, you're busy. Right? So you've got a gazillion things that you have to do. You're reviewing your list, figuring out who you should contact next. What did you do with that last prospect? What's the next step? Uh, maybe you get an email, so you're interrupted. Uh, then you realize, oh, I forgot to respond to someone. Um, maybe you're looking for a sales asset because you need to send out another email. So it's not like you can just you know, make one phone call, then make another one, then make another one, or send one email, you know, after another. There's lots of things that interrupt your time and that you need in order to do those things effectively. 